Hey guys, today we talk about a dope collaboration between Nike and Solon on the SB Dunk High. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cut Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. What you've all been waiting for, the collaboration between Solan and Nike on the SB Zoom Dunk High Pro. Man, oh man, these sneakers are dope sauce. Glad to have caught these sneakers right here. It's been a while since I've grabbed a pair of Nike SBs, especially the highs, uh, probably since college. But anyways, guys, glad to have caught them. I'm going to go in and give you a sweet review on these dunks right here. Let's go. So looking on the inside of this dunk right here you'll notice that on both sneakers you have a nice royal blue coloring when it comes to the insole on the right you have Solon embedded onto the insole of the sneaker and on the left sneaker you have fry.day embedded or imprinted onto the sneaker I would say that this cushioning is really nice really rubbery and it's probably for the skaters out there who really want to get up in the air and do their tricks for me I'm not a skater but this sneaker right here looks really good so for those of you who are wondering what what the fry.day means is just the name of the capsule between Nike and Solon and in this particular case it's 0.2 where they focus on the dunks and had a whole bunch of clothes associated with the capsule they did this previously in 2016 and it was 0.1 that was the capsule also known as fry.day but that was 0.1 they did some stuff back in 16 but I wasn't really interested but once they came out with these particular sneakers right here I had to have them so looking further on the insole of the sneaker you'll notice that the inner lining is made up of what appears to be a quality thin leather and I want to emphasize thin because usually dunks are really thick at the sides you know to help with I guess ankle support etc etc another dope feature of this Nike dunk that I noticed is that when you look at it from above you'll notice that on the right sneaker if you look at the insole and also the tongue at the same time the whole thing spells out Solon and on the left side you get the same phenomenon on as well but in this case it spells out Friday so I thought that was a hidden but nice little you know maneuver they put on this particular sneaker to make it stand out more for those of you who are wondering what the Friday meant in addition to the name of the capsule it also means literally Friday like the end of the week but also in Danish the fry the fri also means freedom so I thought that was cool to have a dual meaning to the sneaker in general so I can't say enough this sneaker is dope sauce another cool feature that is associated with this particular sneaker is the deconstructed feel that you find on this particular tongue everyone's probably gonna be like you know Virgil Abloh already did this no Virgil Abloh was not the first one to make a deconstructed tongue this has been happening with Nike for years and years ago at least when I was younger at least when I was in college I remember blazers coming out with a deconstructed tongue I'll pop up a picture right here so you guys can see it as proof this has been happening for a long time but it's a nice touch to this particular Nike dunk in general at the top of the tongue you also notice that it has the Nike SB insignia at the top with blue hits on both sneakers in addition to that looking at the upper of the sneaker you'll notice that it's covered in a sail colorway and in addition to that you'll notice that on the lateral portion of the sneaker you have a nice swoosh that's in 3m and on top of that you have a jewel like little Nike swoosh that's on top of it which I thought was a dope touch in addition to that I cannot say it enough about this suede that was added to this sneaker very very hairy but it's very very nice and elegant in my opinion and also I like how how they really minimize minimalize the coloring with this silhouette they didn't do too much they kept it very minimal which is definitely in my lane when it comes to fashion on the lateral and medial portion of the sneaker you'll have a little slice of 3m noted on the sneaker and in addition to that when you look at the heel of the sneaker on the right sneaker you'll have the dot day and on the left sneaker you'll have the fry 
dope sneaker overall people cannot say it enough the midsole and the outsole consists of a synthetic rubber in white and also have hits of royal blue on the bottom of the sneaker with the nike sb insignia as well last but not least the sneakers are equipped with two pairs of shoelaces one is a little bit thicker as you can see and the other is a flat shoelace which i prefer and i'll definitely be rocking because i'm not the skater type but i definitely again love the silhouette of this particular sneaker that was created between solon and nike so pricing wise these sneakers retailed for me for a whopping 110 bucks not too expensive for the good quality that was provided on this sneaker at least in my opinion and in addition to that sizing wise i went with my traditional size 12 when it comes to nike sbs in general and it fits me perfectly so if you were to ask me what size should i wear i would say oh, a half size down bruh again my little disclaimer always go to your local sneaker boutique your foot lockers your eSpace, whatever try on the sneaker first try on your nike sb and figure out what size is good for you casa question of the day people what do you think about these particular deconstructed looking solen times nike sbs are you gonna be rocking these did you try to cop did you cop let me know down in the comment section below and let's talk about it people hey guys so my sneaker talk is up for today please remember to like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification button for the one time if i treated you well also guys i appreciate you guys for watching my videos really really appreciate it and i'll see you guys all on the next episode of casa station deuces